what is new with me? That's what I'm gonna cover today. I'm going to be talking about my personal life, my business, and creatively, just where I'm at today. So for starters in my personal life, I took up jujitsu, and actually in February, I should be getting my blue belt. I got the last of my stripes on my white belt and I have been fighting off a staph infection from jujitsu for the last couple months, which sucks. Yes, I did take antibiotics when I first knew that I had it and I thought it cleared up, but really just cleared up from the areas that I had it, like on my neck and on my leg, and then moved on to my arm. You also might be wondering why this looks a little bit different right now, and it is the lighting, because my Aperture 120D Mark II is non-functional right now because the little red cord that plugs into the light must be damaged internally and it's actually super frustrating to try and order another one. I've been waiting for a couple weeks now, so that sucks. But here, let me show you this. So if you saw that MTV Cribs video that I did last year when we moved in and I gave you guys a tour of my house, then you would remember this crime scene over here that the uh, previous owners left for us and neglected to mention. So tomorrow we're actually getting new carpet put in, the three bedrooms. Everything that's touching the carpet right now in my office and in the other two bedrooms needs to go. So besides making videos, I really don't have any hobbies, which has bothered me because I need more outlets so I don't get burnout with editing and so on and I wouldn't really consider working out and jiu-jitsu my hobbies I almost see them as more as like fitness or just things that I'm gonna do anyway so I needed something to do and I thought why not make reading my hobby for now and maybe I'll find hobbies through there so trying to embrace my inner nerd bring you over this way and you can see we got a whole bunch of clutter here for the carpet that's going in tomorrow and it's only gonna get worse today. So I'm reading right now the Dungeon Master's Guide for D&D because I really enjoy playing Dungeons and Dragons, but I want to get a better grasp on the entire game. And I tried DMing a cyberpunk version of Dungeons and Dragons and it was really difficult. So I wanna get good at that. And I went to Lowe's today and got a pretty nice fire pit for the backyard, which I'm very excited about. Love having fires with the friends and it is freezing out. And I know that you guys are probably wondering if you saw Roto the VFX pup before what he looks like now. Well, here he is. Roto the VFX pup doesn't look like a pup anymore. He is huge, he is tall, and he is wild. Let's go back to the office. And lastly, in my personal life, my wife and I decided to gift each other the gift of an experience rather than just material possessions, we're going to go up to Lake Tahoe to visit or dine in at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen up there. So that's super exciting. We've been watching a ton of Gordon Ramsay, whether it's Hotel Hell, Kitchen Nightmares, we're on Hell's Kitchen right now, Master Chef, Next Level Chef, all the chefs. So super excited to hopefully try Beef Wellington for the first time. All right, next, moving on to business. My business has been good. You know, I'm not crazy busy to the point that I hate life and I'm not so slow that I don't know what to do every day and when I do have free time I keep myself busy with either coming up with edits making content for social media and YouTube and so on but honestly I think the only thing that would make me even happier is if I got even cooler and cooler visual effects jobs and so on but with that being said I actually did just do a pretty cool edit job last month now as some of you may know I did move to LA briefly part-time right once the pandemic started and after about nine months I moved back full-time to Reno and most of my connections in LA have they're not gone they're I, you know I'm just kind of out of sight out of mind it, it feels so I'm probably not the first person they think of when they're like oh I need someone to edit something that seems mostly true except for one of the people I met down there who has since become a really good friend of mine through him I ended up getting a job editing the Zapata Pro Grace WBC World Championship boxing highlight video before the actual event starts. So that was super cool and it was very stressful because it was right before Thanksgiving and I had to turn around a lot of deliverables in a very small amount of time. And finally, creatively, there have been some changes and you've probably noticed that you haven't seen as many 
tutorials from me as of late. And really it just boils down to, I want to create videos that I am passionate about, which is why you've seen an influx of the psychocinematic podcast I'm doing because I'm very passionate about watching those movies and discussing them and trying to pick them apart and find all the deeper meanings in them. Whereas with the tutorials, I've honestly just become a little bit burned out from what feels like a repetitive, oh, here's how you do this effect, which is just slightly different than the last tutorial I created. Now in the future, you may see a tutorial here and there from me, but going forward, I would expect to see a lot of psychocinematic as well as visual effects entertainment, like the one where I figured out the alcohol content of a mixed drink or helped you visualize how much it costs to buy a home or how to paint the wall so your wife can decide on what color to paint it without actually painting the wall. Those kinds of things are super fun for me to do and I really enjoy them. And also, instead of doing tutorials, I think if I ever want to cover something like that, I'm gonna do a visual effects breakdown and the difference between the breakdown and the tutorial is the breakdown is quicker and I explain my thought process behind what I did and the principles behind what I did. Whereas a tutorial, you know, kind of walks you through slowly step by step, even going as far as to telling you exactly what numbers to type in. I don't really want to do that that much anymore. Once you have a basic understanding of visual effects, I personally feel that VFX breakdowns are more beneficial to your learning and creativity going forward. And that's what's going on with my life. I hope each and every one of you have a fun and safe holidays and hopefully you get to spend it with your family, friends, loved ones, what have you. Thank you for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one.